In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the Maclaurin series of 1 over 1 minus x. So we start by defining f of x as 1 over 1 minus x, and then we need to think about rewriting this in a way that's going to make finding derivatives a little bit easier. So I'm going to say that this is equal to 1 minus x to the power of minus 1. And when we have something on the bottom of a fraction, just move it to the top and change it to minus 1, and we haven't changed anything, but this is going to be a lot easier to work with. Then we look at our formula for the Maclaurin series, which says that f of x, which is our function, can be written as an infinite series starting at f of 0, which is our f of x evaluated at 0, plus the derivative of this function evaluated at 0 times x. Then we find the derivative again. So we take the derivative of our derivative to find the double derivative. Then we have 2 factorial x squared. Then we have the next derivative. 3 factorial x cubed. So you'll see that the powers of x are just increasing by 1 each time. So we're going, well, x to the power of 0, x to the power of 1, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 3. And then the factorials are just increasing by 1 each time. So we got this expression, and we need to find what f of 0 is, find the derivative, evaluate it at 0, and so on. And one of the key things to bear in mind is that we don't forget the chain rule. If you forget the chain rule, you're going to get lots of minuses in the wrong places, and it's going to go completely wrong. So let's start with our f of x. So we've got f of x that we defined earlier. We need to find f of 0 to find this term. And so we just stick 0 in for x. We get 1 minus 0 to the minus 1, which, of course, gives 1. Now we have to find the derivative. And this is where you've got to be careful. So what we would do is we would times the front of this by minus 1. This would become minus 2, but you've also got to take the derivative of this inside function, which is going to be minus 1. And so you're going to have to keep track of the signs. So we end up with this. You would think that this is minus, and you would be wrong, because the derivative of the inside is minus 1. So you've got minus 1 times minus 1, which is becoming positive. So f dash of 0 is going to be 1. Be very careful with the chain rule. Then we're going to times this by minus 2. Then take the derivative of the inside, which is going to give us minus 1. So we're still plus 2, still positive because of the chain rule. We then find the double, double derivative at 0. That's giving us 2. Then we keep going, timesing by minus 3, and then by minus 1 for the inside function. And then we get our value of the third derivative. And then we can get the fourth derivative and it's coming out as this value. So what we can do is just substitute that into our expression, and that's what I've done there. And you should be noticing about these factorials. Two factorial is two times one, so you've got two divided by two. Three factorial is three times two times one, which is six. Four factorial is also 24, so you're getting 24 over 24. So in fact, all of these are ending up as being one. So they're just going to disappear, and you've just got the powers. So it's 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the 4, or this could also be thought of as x to the power 0. So you're just basically adding all the powers of x up. And so when we simplify this, it's just all the powers of x being added up, if you include this as x to the power 0. So what we can say is that our Maclaurin series as an infinite series is simply the summation of x to the power of n from n equals 0 to infinity. This is one of the simplest and fantastically useful Maclaurin series that you can find. So I hope this video was helpful to you and you can now find the desired Maclaurin series. And finally, thank you very much for watching.